Right, so I'm wearing two jumpers and it's still freezing. Just starting off my Monday morning with an edit. Slowly getting there. Just downloading some new music because I realized that I haven't actually downloaded any new music, I think, since I've since me and Maddie came back to the UK from abroad. I've just been using the same stuff over and over because it saves time. Because uh, it does take a while to search for good copyright free music. And I apologize for my appearance today. I've got a bit bit of a spot there, I think. Um, I think it's from the food I've been eating. I've been eating a bit of junk in the past. Well, the meals we eat are good, but then I blame the pretzels I've been eating, really. I said they're really good value, and they are, but when you eat, like, nearly a full bag in an evening, then you're probably going to get spots. And I would love to be trimming this, but unfortunately the charger for my razor I left in Canada by mistake, and Maddie's uncle is sending it back soon. But uh, I'm not sure how long it takes to get here from Canada. A few moments later. Finally. I was actually saying this earlier. This just arrived. I was saying, oh, I wish I had my charger for my shaver so I can shave. And now it's actually come. And the stuff we left. We left a few other things. I've been without this hairbrush for so long. <laughs> Go on, give it a brush. No. <laughs> Is that your watch? watch? The watch that we left. Where did we leave it? In the RV? Mm. Yeah. Finally here. Six hours later. Do you have vegan cheese? Sorry, you have cheesely or... Oh, I don't have heard of that one. Um, whichever one you recommend to have. Okay, yeah, we'll have that one, please. And could we get the vegan garlic bread with vegan cheese as well, please? Bye. Yes. We just ordered our first delivery since being here because we really fancied it and I didn't want a home-cooked meal tonight. I really wanted to try. A vegan place, well it's not vegan, they just do vegan pizza, it's called, what's it called? Morelli Zarelli? Morelli Zarelli. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard of other people going there, I've, I've, I've heard of it before. And they have a whole vegan menu, let's show them. So they have a whole veggie vegan pizza menu, and then I just asked him, it says mozzarella, oh, it. but so um, but you you just ask for the vegan cheese, they have, they have two different vegan cheese options, and I just said which do you prefer, and he said he preferred cheesely, I don't know what that is. Oh, I know cheesely. Um, so... We got that and then we also got garlic bread with cheese. So, oh my gosh. We got the vegan chicken and pesto and the vegan meat feast because why the hell not? What's cheesely? Is that the one that's really smelly? A lot of them are smelly. What, it... what was the second one? I don't know. I said I'd never heard of it and he said, oh, it's not as good. Cheesy is better. Well, if that's what he recommends. Yeah. So excited. I feel like, I feel like splurging to reward ourselves after not spending any money. Um, Oh, well, Alex bought one thing on Black Friday, but it was a sensible thing. We didn't buy anything else. Yeah. Got the goods. How excited are you? Very excited. Oh my gosh. Our first vegan takeaway. Now, I'm going to show you. Alex, come look at the goods. I can't open this without you here. This is actually not bad price as well. It was only £23 because they did an offer. Um, Monday to Wednesday, where you get buy one, get one pizza half price. So I thought it was pretty good. Come on, Alex, quick, I'm hungry. I literally, okay, I'm not waiting for you. Okay, oh. There's the vegan garlic bread with cheese. Look at that, it's probably melted on there. Oh, look. It's a proper mini pizza, that. And then here are the real deal. Oh, it's got a rocket on it. It's my favorite thing ever. So this, oh, and it's got artichokes. So this is vegan chicken pesto. Which I'm very, well, I can't really see any pesto on there. I'm sure it's underneath. No, it's probably underneath. Oh, right. And then this one. Oh, look at that. That's got vegan pepperoni and chorizo. Or chorizo, however you say it. Cho ri -tho. Let me try one. Yum. Oh my gosh. That, I'm so excited. Alex doesn't even care. He's so dedicated care. to the vlog. I'm being a professional adult. Look. Oh boy. Oh, which one was it? Look. 
Uh, this is, I'm gonna eat more of this one, aren't I? Let's be honest, because I like these sorts of ones. Suits me just fine. And then the, pe the garlic bread. So, did you tell them that we're gonna do a Q&A? No. We're gonna do a quick Q&A because we don't have much footage for this video. Yeah. So we've actually received quite a few questions, so we won't answer we all really? of them. Well, yeah, because they're quite long questions. So Part we'll, two. We'll, we'll keep answering them over the next few days, because we'll probably get more through, because okay. I've only just announced, um, announced. I've only just asked you guys for right. questions. So if we get more through, we'll answer them in the next couple videos for you. Sweet. Right, let's put these away and let's nibble on the garlic bread while we answer the questions, because I don't want them to get cold. Okay, let's have a quick bite of this. Well, get your own. Oh, it is very um, greasy. Look, oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd prefer normal garlic bread than this one. Okay. It's very oily. <clears throat> Isn't it? The right amount of oil. Right. Mm. We don't want to gross you out with our eating noises. <clears throat> One more bite. Okay. So the first question we got was from Twitter, from Dweeb, at Starmalade. Starmalade? Starmalade? What are your guys' biggest fears? You go first. Try and make them quick, because otherwise it'll be really long. I know from experience. Biggest fears, eh? Really no. When I think of biggest fears, I think it's got to be heights, I think. Yeah. For no. me, I'm going to get really dark is people dying. Oh. I'm not really scared of things. Like, Alex, you're scared of heights and blood. Yeah. Spiders. I'm not scared of those things. But spiders, I'm kind of scared of. But I'm scared like, of a lot of bugs. But I'm not really scared of them. I can handle them if I must. Okay. I just get a bit creeped out, but I'm scared of like my family dying. That's... Is that the wrong answer to give? It's a bit deep. I guess that's a fear, yeah. I okay, I saw it, I said I wouldn't eat, because I know that some people hate yeah. that. Okay, the next question is from Whoa, Instagram. Easy there. Sadie Wren, what would y'all be doing if YouTube didn't exist? I like that you said y'all. I would most likely be doing something creative, 100%, something like marketing maybe, or I feel like I would be a blogger on um, just having my own blog or inst doing just <clears throat> focusing on Instagram or um, creating recipes. I feel like I'd be doing a similar line of work because I did try and do a, like a nine to five style marketing job and I just found it, I couldn't do it. I think I'd definitely be working for myself doing something similar. I don't really know. I've never really known. No. I guess I would, uh, if we'd moved here and we weren't doing YouTube, I probably would have just tried to get the first full time job I could find or yeah. something like that. Um, yeah. I'd like to do something to do with maybe an estate agent or something like that. Property developing, that's Alex's yeah. biggest dream. Something in that field. Okay, Kiara Irene. Hi, I've been following you for a while. I binge watched so many videos, ah ha ha. <laughs> anyway, how did you two meet? And how were you feeling at the beginning of your story? Were you scared or careless? It wouldn't last that much. Wish you two the best. We do actually have a video on my channel about how mm. we met, I think, but to sum it up, do you want to sum it up real fast? Uh, yes. Maddie was very drunk in a bar, and I was very drunk in a bar. That's all you need to know. <laughs> no, it's not. We met on the first night of university, which is crazy, yeah. and um, I went into a bar on the first night with one of my good friends at uni, and it was we'd just met that day as well. We were like living across the hall from each other, and she really fancied your friend. Yeah. And so we went over to chat. We were like, oh, let's go chat to the boys. I was being a wing woman chatting to Alex. And then it ended yeah. up being that I really got on with you. And so did our friend Claire. Mm. And we just spent the night together hanging out. Not spent the night like that. Mm. We spent the evening hanging out together as friends. And then um, we carried on being friends. But I knew that you liked me and I liked you pretty much straight away. And we just carried on hanging out. And then and pretty much immediately we were in a relationship with each other. Kind of fell into a relationship. Alex told me he loved me about two weeks into knowing me. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's very cute. And um, were you scared or kept? I think she was saying, were you worried about us not mean, not lasting? Not really. I don't really think about those things. No. 
Um, I'm a long-term relationship person. Yeah, it didn't really cross my mind. No. What inspired you and Alex to go vegan and was it a quick transition or did it take time? I do have a video on my vegan story so you can go watch that if you want to have the whole hog. But basically, I um, was in an eating disorder, found out about veganism online through the YouTube vegan community, binge watched loads of documentaries, pretty much changed overnight. I had a bit of a struggle because of Christmas. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to be vegan at Christmas. And also because I had an eating disorder, I had a few hiccups here and there, but I pretty much went vegan overnight. Um, and then over that time, you went vegan a few years later. When I moved down to live with you, I was vegetarian. Yeah. And then I think in the new year, we moved into Manny's parents. And then I just thought, well, because we were it's living kind of together. Just a, yeah, it's kind of just a why not, because yeah. I wasn't eating, I didn't eat eggs, I didn't drink milk, and I barely ate cheese, so I thought, well, why don't I just give it a go? Yeah, and you were vegetarian for a year before that as well. Pretty so much, So I've been yeah. vegan for four years, and you've been vegan for how many years now? Two? Nearly yeah, two. Two, yeah. Mm. I feel like that's a question lots of people ask about if it was quick or did it take time, and I really think it's different for everyone, because for you it took time, and it was a quick yeah. transition for me in the sense that I was like, right, I'm going to be vegan. But it also was hard for me at first. I had lots of hiccups and I had like evenings where I'd like binge out on chocolate and stuff for the first few months. Yeah, I found it hard because I was living with my parents for a yeah. while right after uni. And I went vegetarian in the new year. But because I was coming home from work and they would be cooking meals, a lot of the time it would have meat in it. So I would just kind of eat it. And then I sort of tried to go away from that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it took a while for me. Whereas you just pretty much Yeah. Overnight. I think as long as your intentions are that yeah. you want to go vegan, I think it's pretty good. Not that was your question anyway, but another question. Did I say who that one was from? That one was from Beck White Widmer. Widmer, yeah. So this question comes from Emily Jane97. Wait, you read these ones, I've been reading all of them. I have two questions, sorry. <laughs> Number one, what's something you'd love to buy if you had the money? A new laptop. That's a good one. Because my laptop can't handle um, exporting and processing videos and it makes my life quite difficult. It, most videos I edit, it's a slow process. I think I waste at least, like I, it takes me double the amount of time it should. And that is a big deal for me because it's my job. A really fast, amazing MacBook. What would I buy? You'd buy a house to do up. Well, Sorry, yeah. I answered for you. No. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, could be a house. Uh, I have a lot of gadgets. It would probably be maybe like a, a Tesla car. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> also, because it would have like no road tax. Yeah. So it'd be quite cheap to run. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe. That'd be fun. Also, that acceleration. Like, All right, just get a second question. Oh, second question, yeah. Number two. Is there anything you miss about not being vegan? Perhaps the convenience or the cost, etc. No. Really, no. Honestly. I can say honestly, no. I would say bacon. It would rather be bacon or scrambled eggs, but you can get fake bacon in like Holland and Barrett and all the supermarkets, and you can make scrambled tofu that tastes exactly the same. They both yeah. taste the same to me. Yeah. So in that sense, there isn't anything I'm missing, to be honest. No. No. Because like, as soon as you think, oh, I miss, like I could think, oh, I miss dairy, dairy milk chocolate because I loved dairy milk chocolate, but it's such a fleeting thing and I can get vegan chocolate, so it really doesn't make me miss it at all, because I'm just like, well, I can get it vegan. Yeah, so I used to think I would miss cheese. Yeah. Like, like mature cheddar cheese, that was the only yeah. one I think I'd miss. But I think part of the reason why I went vegan is because, I don't know, cheese started to taste funny. I can't really explain it, I just, maybe I had some bad cheese. I, I know what you mean, and that I happened just, to me. And the taste just wasn't as appealing, yeah. I was like, well, I can live without this. And the thought of like dairy cheese now, for some reason, it's doesn't, gross. it makes me feel a it bit weird. It does make me feel a bit yeah. weird. It's strange how that happens over it time. Is. No, I honestly can say I don't miss anything because I do find being vegan very convenient. Hmm. The only thing that's difficult maybe is if you're eating out with people who aren't vegan, but even that is really not that inconvenient because you just pick someone that has a vegan option. Yeah. So any hurdle is very easily um, overcome. Hurdled. <laughs> Why did, oh, this comes from Kelsey Lou. Why did you decide on Brighton to move to? What other cities were you considering? Multiple questions. So I have family who live in Hove and in Brighton and I've visited quite a few times and always loved it and always envisaged myself living here. And we were considering London yeah. as an option because it's obviously a big city and I've also got my sister who lives in London and friends who live in London. But the main contributors were number one, I find London a bit much and it's a bit overwhelming yeah. every time I go there. You can, I, 
don't feel like I could stay there for more than a week at a time. Yeah. That's a lot. And Brighton just felt like the good fit because it is so close to London, yet you're by the sea. It feels like home to me. It's very similar type of town to towns in Cornwall. It was a mixture of all the things we liked, I guess, yeah. like the sea and also the community of... Yeah. Vegan you know, like, food. Yeah, like green party, like vegetarian vegan food. Yeah. Um, it's good for cycling. Yeah, the cycling well. part, the cycle paths here are incredible. We say, even though we haven't actually gone on a cycle. <laughs> um, but yeah, just up to like a few miles out of town and you've got like, was it the South Downs? But there's bike paths everywhere and everyone wants their yeah, bike Yeah, it's, it's so bike friendly. And also it was way cheaper than London. Like the rent in London is just so expensive comparatively and we could get this, like this flat in London would be double, if not more than double. It would, it would be at least half extra of our rent. Yeah, it's just a lot we, more yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah. So we just didn't want to be pushing ourselves when we're in our first flat together. Are you both full-time YouTubers now? When did you know that's what you wanted to do full-time? I've been full-time for a while. And as soon as I, I quit my job, I have a video on this as well. I quit my job and uh, went into doing YouTubing and worked part-time for my mum. And since I made that decision, I wanted to be a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I wanted to be a full-time YouTuber ever since I've watched YouTube videos. I just, I've always envisaged it as something I wanted to do or being a blogger of some sort. So I've always wanted to do it and I'm full-time now. For the past few weeks, I have been doing it full-time. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, because my channel is smaller than yours, um, I was looking into figuring out some way to do it part-time or like a part-time job yeah. along with YouTube. Yeah, just to sort of keep things going, ticking yeah. over. But you want to make it a full time. Oh yeah, that'd be great. So, subscribe. <laughs> um, Alec, this one's for you. Oh dear. If you could be transported into the <laughs> Harry Potter world, what character would you like to be and why? Can I answer as well? No, it's for Alex. <laughs> I like Harry Potter as well. Um, I would be me. Who would I be? Well, it's kind of difficult because it's kind of a depressing universe. I'd be Luna. Like... Luna I relate to the most. Also, oh, okay. she's vegan in real life. If it's a question of who I'd be most like, no, that's not it. I'd probably be most like Ron, just kind of the guy who's there, who's kind of good, but also like lazy and a bit of an idiot sometimes. What makes me Hermione? I don't know who I'd be. Someone... Well, pick one, come on. It's a hard question. <laughs> You've considered this more than any of the other questions. <laughs> I think Ron's a good answer. Ron. You're like a mesh between Ron and Harry. And I think okay. I'm a mesh between Hermione and Luna. That sounds about right. Yeah. What's the biggest hardship about being a minimalist? I think the biggest hardship is, I don't know really, probably resisting the temptation to shop because if you're in a world where, well, we're in a consumerist obsessed capitalist world where you're constantly bombarded with stuff, this weekend, Black Friday, yeah. it's very hard to, well, it's not very hard, but sometimes it can be hard to resist that temptation if you're just seeing what, because it's natural as humans to want to do what everyone else is doing and to follow the crowd and kind of just be as everyone else is. And sometimes it's hard when other people get so much enjoyment out of things and it's very innocent, you know, getting enjoyment out of shopping and doing things with family yeah. and stuff like that. It sometimes is hard to resist that. But same with veganism, it only, but it's only hard for like a millisecond and then you realize why you're doing it. So it doesn't really, it's not really that hard. I'd say something similar because it is tempting to buy stuff, buy yes. little things, yeah. buy bits and bobs you have no need for. Yeah. And it feels better in the long run, I guess. But like after Black Friday weekend, having only bought like a couple of things, feels good. I didn't buy anything. Yeah. So it it's like it's like all the hardships with anything like minimalism or veganism are just so far outweigh, outweighed by the positives that when I sit and think, oh, I really want to go shopping, I really want to pop on this website and do a bit of shopping, it's just it's just so outweighed by the positives. I think, well, if I did that, I wouldn't have money. I wouldn't feel good afterwards. I'd regret it. Okay, we just ran out of space, but we'll wrap that up. I think I was just saying that the positives far outweigh the negatives. And yeah. there are a few more questions that we've got, but we'll answer them in tomorrow's video because there's like loads more. So I hope you enjoyed this. We're gonna eat our pizza and watch Mad Men. Yeah, pizza, we'll pizza, see pizza, pizza, pizza. We'll it's been really hard to talk video. with this pizza here. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too cold. It'll be fine. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>